So hey guys, uh, as you can see I'm a little red at the moment, I don't know what it is, but um, the main point of today of course is uh, innuendo uh, week uh, day 2. So we're going to get on with that today, and um, now as you can see the green screen is up again, however, the only problem we may actually face is that what I'm talking about today I can't really get a picture, uh, kind of like I couldn't really put up a picture for a uh, blue waffle. So it might be up there, could be the artwork, uh, could be just another warning sign or something, or it might just be nothing. I might just leave it green, uh, have it green the whole video. We'll see anyway when we're editing this. So anyway guys, we're going to get ahead with this, and today's topic is piercings of the male genitalia. So a uh, frenulum uh, piercing is a, um, a piercing located on the underside of the shaft of the uh, male genitalia, which uh, can take up to uh, two to five weeks to heal, and usually um, is uh, has a barbell in it, which which is the name for the uh, piercing. Um, it kind of looks like a weightlifting barbell with the two kind of circle things at the end and the the rod. But anyway, not to go into the, the actual uh, piercings themselves. But um, yeah, this can take two to five weeks to heal. Um, and if you put more and more of these barbells in, you have a, fr a frenulum ladder. In our contemporary society, these uh, piercings were most commonly seen in the gay uh, subcultures. And um, to those of you that actually have piercings anywhere, uh, all piercings quite literally originated from gay, uh, gay cultures. But of course, uh, piercings, ears, nose, eyes, tongue, male genitalia, uh, these all became uh, pretty much mainstream in the 1970s to uh, 1980s. Frenulum uh, piercings are actually seem, uh, seen as a fetish. Now, guys, I don't know about you, but talking about this is kind of creeping me out. Um, but it's all in the uh, all you know, all in the educational system of earnest. So, um, yeah, sorry, guys. J you know, just messed. I mean, I'm thinking that maybe doing this uh, may help somewhere in life. I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty much going off course now. Um, so yeah, I seem to be doing this lot. This is not good. Here's something which I find kind of quite interesting on all these piercings of uh, males. The male piercing genitalia has its has its uh, many many piercings uh, as we've come across, we've already talked about one, but the main one is actually called the Prince Albert. And then I know what you're thinking, yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking back there, you're probably thinking, Prince Albert? Well, I know him, yeah, he just lives down the road from me, in a giant castle. No, the Prince Albert is actually the most uh, sexually uh, popular piercing in males, and that includes everywhere. So, um, some of you guys watching this, if you're hiding it, <laughs> we all know now that it's most popular, so, uh, no point hiding anymore. No more messing, guys, uh, of course, this is only, as I said, educational reasons. But of course, anyway, so this, these, uh, piercings, um, the Prince Albert has a healing process of two to four months, which, considering um, considering where it's being put, you know, the main uh, on the male uh, genitals, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast, and it's uh, you know, it's it's at its full. It's it's at its full at four months. That's not even half a year. So uh, there'd be no point worrying. Now you made us. Uh, Kind of think this is a little weird when you hear this, but it's still the topic of the Prince Albert, and it's actually that you don't have to 
to ever clean it. And then you think, well, actually, uh, you haven't told us where this piercing is. Like, we know it's down in the genitals, but where? Um, well, to put it quite simply, it's, uh, it's uh, on the head. And um, they say that you'd never have to clean it, and the healing process is actually uh, sped up by... Um, your urine. Yes, your urine bo uh, cleans and uh, heals the wound. And, um, of course, we know that our urine is actually quite nutritious when we drink it. Uh, not that many of us do. I, I don't. Certainly, I, 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 uh, um, uh. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, um, to stay off that. Um, yeah, so, um, the Prince Albert is, uh, quite a popular choice, and Quite a fast healing process. Uh, not as fast as the uh, first one that we looked at, but still fast enough for where it is. And uh, never needs to be cleaned. Your own body does that for you, so uh, thumbs up for Prince Albert. What Innuendo Week is about? It's about me uh, pretty much teaching you about things that obviously uh, some of us think are a bit disgusting. And I'm sorry, I do apologize right now, but it's obviously just the way I have it. Just the way that I. You know, it's, to me, these things are pretty important. You know, some of you guys look at this, and as I said in my first video, you'll think it's weird. Disgusting at first. But to me, all this is, is fascinating. And it is. I, I believe that all this is fascinating. And, you know, if people are gonna say, I mean, this guy is disgusting. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sam is no way like me. Sam does his normal vlogs. Yeah, I'm working on his web series, which I feature in. Another thumbs up. But, as much as he uh, does his vlogs and his web series, I do this. It's only a week. You know, it's not for every vlog. Obviously, after these next uh, five days, it'll be after this one. We'll back. We'll be back to normal vlogs, of course. Uh, you'll still see me in the web series with Sam, and uh, future projects. So I mean, this was the second installment of Innu uh, Innuendo Week. Uh, as I said, five more to follow, and. Um, that's it for today. I'm still doing this. I need to stop. But yeah, so that's day two finished. I'm still doing this. Uh, five more to follow. And uh, after that, as I said, uh, more vlogs. And uh, as far as I know, Sam should have the first episode of the web series uh, being edited. So uh, we should have that up pretty soon as well. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, I know it was a little disgusting, but hopefully I'll give a, a repair one next week. So, um, yeah, actually I promise you that. Next week's will not be as disgusting. We will not talk about the piercings of the male gentilia. Maybe we'll do females. Nah, more Uh, we'll talk about something. I'll decide anyway. So, um, from me, at Mr. Ernest TV, I bid you a farewell. And I'll see you next week. See you guys.